be sticked with the boot on the same position so it's gonna open properly. Okay, so lights won't work, but we first need to try the coin game to see what we need to correct, if there are things to correct. that I put the collisions inside the wheel. This is not good. Rear one, very important. The chassis call always under anything inside of course the chassis. And then the low load call the chassis dummy. The low load the chassis dummy, like that. So chassis dummy, chassis dummy call inside, chassis low load, chassis low load call, and then chassis call, always, and then after the wheels, there. Gonna put steering wheel because I want it to be put it there, and this is it. Your car is ready to be exported. GG. You come to the first end of the conversion. So if everything is okay, it's going to work like a charm and you'll be able to drift, to grip, to whatever you want. <laughs> so to export it, very easy. Export. And you're going to call it the same way the main dummy is called. So you just you can just copy that. Go and export. Here it's set up to go on my 5M. But I'm going to make it in my disk like that here I'm gonna add it after in open 4 right after there and boom RX7 tuned and be sure that you have it as GTA Rage model the other ones are to work with 3D models or for wires or the games or even to save it as Zmodeler file okay so gta rage model dummy name in your export and then you're gonna see all the errors if there are any if you follow the tutorial you should have very low amount of errors so unknown object name spoiler this can be a problem if you need your object to have something special so i'm not sure about the name that it should have but as we only want it to move with another object that already have scripts working we don't really care about this one but it can happen if you have lights and this happen incorrect object name and you have your lights and you don't have any dummy that have the proper name that's gonna make problems but the one that worry me a little it's about the spec map on the car body paint, so we're gonna try to correct that. So we go on the car body paint shader, and I probably used the mouse wheel somewhere inside it, which changed the UV map there. So it should use UV2, and if I'm right, it's this one that should... UV coordinates come from my new UV2. I'm gonna try to export it again, so just delete this one remove the dot yft so that it doesn't recognize it as already existing so it wasn't the proper one okay same shader we put back manual uv1 here uv coordinates and in fact it was this one so the shader using two times the same texture that's why now we see two errors and before there was only one because it wasn't concerning the vehicle generic spec map there but it was concerning this one and here should be manual UV number two so this is to say that it's using the shading of this texture if I'm not wrong when that's done again export delete this one remove the dot yft and we export it again and you'll see only one error this is the spoiler thing that we really don't care about it and this is it for the model and we will be able to try to adapt this thing to be added in game so it's gonna be
be the test. So I'm just saving the Z model file as this is done properly. And we have the we are exported model. So now we can double click it and it's gonna be open in open four. And it's a very light model. You see here it's only got seven hundred K kilo updates. That's really nothing for a car. I had cars with 15 megabytes. So this one is very light. Really, really light. And you'll see that the car would have no texture, but it will be there with all the object that we have. Inside the boot we have the spoiler. We're not seeing the collisions here, but that's not a problem. But the whole car is there. So now what we're gonna do, little thing, copy paste it and take this copy and rename the thing after the car name as underscore HY. So this is to say to the game that you have the base file and you have the high textured one. I'm not really sure why it's using it like that, but it should be done anyway. Even if you don't have a higher version of your car with higher texture. So that's for the model. Now it's going to be the last step for the car files. You're going to use Open4 to create a texture file. And for that, the easiest way to take or create any texture file inside and add all the texture we're using without adding the vShare. So the vShare are the four texture that we added after the detail, if you remember. So I have all the ones there. I'm gonna try to add... No, it's not add. It's new. Uh, texture dictionary. YTD there. And you just call it like your car. So it's RX7 tuned. And it's gonna have the proper file type. Texture dictionary. So you double click on it when you are in edit mode and you'll be able to import any textures. So for that, you go where your car is on the texture that we added. So mine was delivery user and we add all those textures. So that's going to take a few seconds because the light is going to be very quick. Then remember that we added the other liveries, so this one, skin sign 2, and we're gonna add the last one, which is skin sign 3, so they're all there. Also, don't remember to add the tire textures there, and if I'm not wrong, this should be it. So we got the vShare, you never add them because they already exist in game, so it's gonna load by itself. So we got the tires, we got the wheels, we got the liveries. Yep, we're good to go. When that's done, you save the file and you're gonna put it where your car file is. So it's taking a few seconds this and you drag and drop it inside your folder. Ooh. Ooh. So this is a too big file. This is too big. This is too big. It's not good. So for the testing we're gonna just remove the other this two files. Deliveries just for the test and we're gonna add it later on another video for delivery part yeah it's gonna be limited limit limit yeah 15 megabytes so now when you're gonna open the car you can add the texture file and it's gonna showcase any textures on the car if we did it properly Yeah. 
wheels aren't appearing and I know why but I'm gonna show you how it looks in game and how to correct it so here it's transparent this is normal even if it shouldn't do that but at least you're gonna see how to correct things after the model is done same thing for the inside it's gonna be transparent it's gonna look a little glitchy but at least the outside is gonna look good it should be there and if there is a little offset there between the offset it's like a separation we'll correct that later too but for now what we should do is test it in game so i'm gonna cut the video there and just setting everything up to have a mod ready for testing there